Jeanette, when I look into your eyes at this moment, what I feel is a rush of memories that I can never forget. But one that sticks out to me today is the time I showed up to your house during your birthday party. And you stunned me when I saw you in your dress, just as you've done again today. I remember the day I had the courage to approach you. You came over to hang out with Sean during a house party I was having. You walked in through the door and my mom and I paused and looked at each other like, damn, who's that? Those that truly love have roots that grow towards each other underground. And when all the pretty blossoms have fallen from the branches, they find that they are one tree, not two. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what we're here to witness. The entangled roots of these two individuals, weathering the same storms and growing together year after year. Woo, all right, we got through that. You've been there for me through thick and thin, and because of you and your support, we have forged our relationship to become something I truly consider to be unbreakable. I promise I will always, always have a snack for you. You came into my life when I was at my weakest, and you helped me find my strength. When I started to fall in love with you, I had to tell everyone. I even put a letter to my grandma that I left earlier that year to tell her how amazing you were. You're everything and more than I prayed for. I promise to give you relentless, undying support as you have always done for me. And lastly, I promise that we will always remain best friends. I love you. I promise to be there for you every step of the way. I promise to love you unconditionally. You make every day better, and you make me better. I love how I can always count on you to be there. You are my best friend, and I love you so much. Having proclaimed your love and commitment to one another in the sight of all these witnesses, by the power vested in me, I am happy to pronounce you husband and wife. Trevor, you may kiss your bride. Two dudes became friends, co-workers, and then at some point, what I consider brothers. And then Jeanette showed up. <laughs> Their love shined bright. You could feel it when you walked in the room. It was then that I knew she stole my friend. <laughs> but it's cool, you made him a better man. You both are amazing individuals. So cheers to you guys and the union of Trevor and Jeanette. She spontaneously became obsessed with Starbucks. But as soon as we walk into this particular one, her whole mood just changed. She was just blushing, batting her eyes at him, giggling like a little schoolgirl. And that's when I met Trevor. <laughs> I am extremely happy for you both. I wish nothing but the best, and I love you guys. Trevor's the joy of my life. He was just the best, sweetest child growing up. I love you both, and, and I wish you much happiness. We welcome to the family, and more babies, yes? Okay, thank you. <laughs> I love you both. Welcome to our family, Trevor, and I want more grandkids. <laughs> I remember 
the day baby Jen was born, like it was yesterday. The second I laid eyes on her, the second I laid eyes on her and held her in my arms, I was in love. And I walked into a Starbucks, he greeted me and I'm like, oh, that's Trevor, the boy baby Jeanette's been talking about so much. When it was time to pay, he said, on the house. And I was like, no, it's okay, I'll pay. And I'm thinking, this guy, you think he can win my approval with damn coffee, you know? Like, what the hell? <laughs> but uh, after months passed and as I talked to him, got to know him better, I just realized he just has a heart of gold. And I have no doubt that he loves my baby Jeanette. Love you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Grimble!